Located on the far eastern side of Michigan's Upper Peninsula lies the 250 square mile oasis that is Drummond Island. Known as the Gem of the Huron, Drummond Island is famous for both its outdoor activities and pristine beauty. A popular destination for vacationers looking to escape their daily 9 to 5s, the island is filled with outdoor activities such as fishing, ATV riding, golf, and an observing an abundance of wildlife. Personally, for my family, it has been a vacation destination every year for many decades. It's been a gathering place where moms, dads, aunts, uncles, grandparents, grandchildren, sons, daughters, nieces, nephews, and cousins have created lifelong memories together, watching each other's families grow with every passing year. Drummond Island is also home to a huntable population of black bear. For those looking to draw a permit, the current wait is over two decades as the Michigan Department of Natural Resources only hands out a few tags each year. It is the most difficult black bear tag to obtain in the entire state. On his 20th year of applying, my brother Kurt finally drew this tag. This is the story of his once in a lifetime hunt. Good morning from the island. Uh, it's Sunday, September 3rd. Yes, September 3rd. Um, Hunt starting three days on Wednesday, the 6th. Uh, talked to the guide, Pat, last night. He wants us to tag along with him to go uh, freshen up the baits. Um, strategy there is to try to get our scent acclimated to that spot so that the bears are getting used to it. Got some good reports. Said there's a, a couple of bears coming in there. One of them's real nice. So, uh, pretty excited. We're going to tag along today and... Uh, put some baits out for the next couple of days, get some stands set, and uh, get after them on Wednesday. Calling for rain right now, so hopefully that shakes out a little bit, but um, yeah, we're going to get after it. Right here. Yep. Just put it all in Trim. If you're putting the ladder stands in there, I, I'm thinking right there is going to be your best batter straight back on that one right in the middle. Okay. I don't know how tall your stand is. When we get out, I'll show you the, where to park when you're hunting. Okay. okay. On the way out. <coughs> and then when we get all the way out, we'll look at the pictures. Perfect. I did. Officially documented bears do in the woods. This bear right here, he's got a shaggy on the top of the shoulders. He's got some long hairs that stick up. See him? Mm -hmm. So he's identifiable. He's he's not a bad bear. This one's just a little bit bigger. You can really see the size of him there. Mm-hmm. Have you ever shot a bear? I've not. I mean, ideally you want him standing up, but right. you know, if he's laying down right there, yep. one thing you don't want to do is try to shoot him like a deer. Right, right behind the shoulder. You, want you gotta keep it bit. you gotta keep it back like a thickness of their leg behind their leg. Well, just ahead of center. Right, so like right, right there. Right there. Yep. yep. What are we gonna do? Oh, uh, we're gonna kill a bear. You heard some yeah. Out of that, unfortunately, we got to put that together. So, found our spot, found a tree that's uh, suitable. So, we're going the tree stand route. So, uh, the next two hours will be uh, next two hours will be uh, watching uh, wardens and uh, putting together a tree stand. I hope we can fit it out the door. She's all put together, ready to rock. So, we're gonna put it up in the morning. Uh, well, late morning, early afternoon, um, gonna rebate. Uh, they want us to bait every day with a five gallon bucket full of bait. And uh, so when we're in there tomorrow, we're gonna get this set. Getting excited, ready for uh, Wednesday. So we're gonna try to catch up to them and that's why they didn't stop. It's the Bear Camp Gambling Club. Good morning, it's Monday, September 4th. Uh, we are getting ready to 
head back in. We're going to drop off some bait. We're going to put uh, our tree stand up two days away. Wednesday is opening day. Uh, weather still looks kind of sketchy. There's at least a half dozen bears coming into the spot. One really big one that um, Walt, the uh, one of the guide guys there was saying there's about 350 pounds. So that's that's the target. We're going after him. They're coming in at all times of the day. So um, we're pretty excited about that. We should definitely be seeing some bears. Oh, shout out to Robert. Got some uh, news that he shot a buck last night uh, out in North Dakota. So congrats to him. Well done. I know it was really hot out there. So I'm sure it was probably a lot of sweat equity uh, put into that, that deer out there. So congrats to him. Get the tree stand put in. She's gonna be brushed in good there. It's about 30 yards from the bait. And the bait has been touched since yesterday. We'll go check that out in a minute. It's gone. It is all gone. Some caramel, some waffle cones, some marshmallows. And you can check to see the stand right there. Come and get it, boo boo. We're gonna go buy a bear license. It's fried chicken. <laughs> and some fried chicken. And lottery. We can edit this outside, bro. He's gonna edit that out anyway. No fish, couldn't find any perch, no walleyes. Tuesday, September 5th, the day before opening day, we're going back in. We're gonna bait one last time before the fun begins. Walt, who we saw earlier, is gonna go with us. So he's gonna check the camera for us and see what was, uh, what was going on the last couple of bait sessions here. And hopefully the big bear's still coming in and coming in during daylight hours. Um, forecast still looks Pretty sketchy for opening day tomorrow. Any other words? Realistically, once they start coming, it's, you're just covering it up to keep the birds off it until they get here. Come on, bears! <laughs> <laughs> All right, just uh, check the camera. Definitely got bear in there, and the big bear too, which is awesome. There he is, public enemy number one. Opening day. And we are inside. Storm didn't come through this morning, but it's coming through this afternoon. South wind blows right into the bait and where from the cameras it looks like the barriers are coming. So looks like we are going to wait to hunt until tomorrow. We move out and we're going to start tending it. And uh, be a little more uh, rugged and hardcore and manly. It's pretty regular in the evenings, so I think that's where we're going to focus and uh, we're going to wait for the wind to get right, wait for the uh, thunderstorms to calm down. Uh, Kurt's waited 20 years, so what's another 24 hours, right? Um, and we're going to try to get it done tomorrow night.
again. We are moving base camp. Head out. Heading out. We are going to switch over and start uh, living the tent life. Significantly colder than it was yesterday. Probably a 25 degree drop. You get settled in there this afternoon and see if we can't uh, get it done on the first sit. Give you the grand tour. There's the tent. Make sure you kick your shoes off when you come in. And uh, there's Princess with his his cot and his sleeping pad there. Mine's a little more rustic looking. 11.30. So we're gonna meet Walt here at about three o'clock. Um, he's gonna take us uh, out to the spot um, and he's gonna bait for us while we climb up in the stand. So there's camp. Just got showered up. Kurt's over doing the same, packing up some stuff, getting ready to go. So, camera's going in. See you in the tree stand.
wasn't the big one that we were looking for. Really nice bear, though. He stuck around for a few minutes. Local ATV rider kicked him off the bait, which is fine. First time I've ever seen a bear. It's awesome.
awesome, dude. That bear is a big bear. <laughs> it's very oh big. My God. Like, like the belly on that thing is like unbelievable. When I seen the first one, I was like, that's a pretty decent sized bear. And then I seen that one, I'm like, that's him. <laughs> yeah, there's, there was absolutely no doubt right? whatsoever. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, I'm, I like pull the trigger, nothing happens, and it's like totally solid. Did you hear me tell you to let it down and then pack it back again? Oh, it's stuck? It, it wouldn't, the, the trigger wouldn't let it do anything. So I had my finger on it trying to pull the trigger and it wouldn't do anything. I racked it just a little bit down yeah. and I put it back up, put it on him and boom. I just spent 20 years applying for a Drummond Island bear tag and I just shot my first bear. And not only my first bear, but a really, really, really big bear. They're so quiet when they come in. He walked, came in from our right side, kind of kind of downwind. He walked back behind us downwind. Figured, obviously, he's coming into the bay, but just took him some time. He got over there to the bait, went to pull the trigger, and the uh, gun wouldn't go off. I think Grandpa was playing a trick on me. <laughs> yeah, so I'm using Grandpa Olson's. Marlin lever action, 35 Remington. Oh, shaking. So yeah, couldn't get him to couldn't get it to shoot. I tried letting it down, whatever I could do to get it to go. And then I finally, he turned and started walking towards us a little bit. He, when he turned back, I racked it real quick. I put it back on him, pulled the trigger, and and off he went. I haven't heard a death moan or anything though. No, I haven't either. Oh, I'm a wreck. It all. I don't think I've ever seen you shake that bad. Oh, first bear I've ever seen. Absolutely perfectly calm through that whole thing. When that one came in, I was pretty calm too. And then we seen the big belly on it. He stopped just short of the tree yeah. of his vitals and he stopped and stood there for a second. And then he walked forward a little bit and I went to pull the trigger and nothing. <laughs> We got good good footage of the shot. Shot looked good, so we're gonna give it some time. Walt's on their way to give us a hand. We're gonna head back to the truck and wait for Walt. It almost doesn't even feel real. So, big time shout out to Walt and Pat. Oh yeah. Cause like, I think the reason it doesn't feel feel real is because I just kind of walked in here one day and got it done. What an awesome bear, right? Yeah. I mean, we sat there for three hours. Four. Right. Oh, four, four hours. The first bear we saw there was a bear with a mane, fluffy neck or whatever. It had a nice white V. Yeah, white patch. Patch in the front. It's over so fast. It's over so fast. We waited 20 years for 20 it. 20 years and you, and you get it done in, in three hours. But that's why you have to wait 20 years for a tag like like this, right? Right. When you get an opportunity at a, at a you know, pass a bear. A bear of a lifetime. Change some clothes, wait for what? And you didn't hear him death bone or nothing? No. Those are on the back side here. You've been standing right there and you ran right through. I thought I heard his tooth pop, teeth popping. You get up here beside me because I don't want to get I don't see him breathe. Okay. Oh, the second guess and everything. <laughs> awesome. Just lost a shell. Okay. Wait a minute now. So now. <laughs> <laughs> nervous for a hot oh, second. Yeah. Really getting nervous. Yeah, we I texted you we had a little bit of a tracking job. He wasn't bleeding. 
we got to figure out how to get out of where we're at. Bear of a lifetime, buddy. It looked like he went a long way, but he didn't. Um, not very much blood. Had us a little bit nervous whether or not we were going to even find him tonight, I guess. Uh, we got to a couple spots where he laid down and and then he laid down again. And at that point, it started to look a little bit better because there seemed to be a little bit more blood. It's a bear of a lifetime. It's a bear of a lifetime on Drummond Island, that's for sure. Get pictures of me. It's been about two hours and 15 minutes since we shot him. Then Yogi came out. That ain't Boo Boo, that's Yogi. Yogi, big bear. See, I told you it didn't go 400. <laughs> <laughs> what, 398? 32. 32. 32 pounds. 395. 395. 395. Wow. Well, well, thank you guys. Well, yeah. you too. Well, yes. Yeah. <laughs> thank you guys. That's awesome. There's no restaurants on the island that's open still, so we're stuck with eating frozen peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, Mountain Dew, and peanut toast chi. There, I don't know why they're called toast chi because there's peanut butter on them. I'm guessing chi is uh because the crackers are cheese. Got the bear all skinned up, quartered out. He's in the cooler. We're gonna pack her up. We'll make it home in time for. Uh, Mason's football game Saturday. Perfect timing. Hmm. What's so in there, buddy? Pork shop getting the red streak in front here. <laughs> yeah, I okay. Kurt K. I see you, Chromebook. You Discover the ultimate RT. cloud gaming machine. You're ready for something different. Ask your healthcare provider about Kisinta. Being a pink starburst is about more than enjoying. It's change in size or, or anything as I get older or younger. Uh, that tooth? Yeah. No. Just thickness. There's more rings on it. More rings on it. Yeah. So it gets bigger as they get older? Thicker. Just thicker. Like the rings on a tree. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Very fortunate to have a couple superb guys as guides. Um, we had uh, Pat Kelly and Walt. Um, Walt did a lot of the work that he did our baiting for us to get us started, showed us where we were going, what we needed to do um, to get our scent in the area. The fact that my family, uh, my wife and two boys, um, was able to share the bear camp with us for the first couple of days um, because of Labor Day weekend. Uh, they came up, we spent some time fishing, riding on the boat, uh, some family time. They took off while we stayed back and, and hunted. I'd shot the bear on a Thursday. Um, Mason, my oldest boy, uh, his first football game was on Saturday. So we shot the bear on Thursday, uh, packed everything up early Friday, went and got our tree stand down, and loaded up everything up and hit the road on Friday afternoon in order to get back to watch Mason's football game, his first Yay. football game. So that was pretty cool. Cool opportunity for them to see the bear. They got their pictures taken next to it as well. Um, and we've got those pictures hanging around in the house. They were pretty excited to see a black bear, a real black bear up close. I shot a once in a lifetime bear, Michigan black bear that weighed 395 pounds. That's what do you think, Mama? Pretty nice. Good night, Mr. Bear. 